So this is my first ever vehicle. It's a uh, 1969 Suzuki AS50. And right now, unfortunately, it's sitting in my garage leaving giant puddles of gas. One of the culprits is a uh, bad fuel bowl gasket. Actually, I think it's completely missing. I think it deteriorated the last time I took the carb apart. What I want to do here is prove that uh, with 3 printing, I can uh, print some of these really hard to find gaskets and things for these old bikes. That It's a real pain to have to search around, find the right one, order it, wait for weeks. It's much easier just to bring it downstairs, disassemble it, and model up a new gasket. So I removed the fuel bowl and then took that and took a picture of it. And then I took the picture and moved it into Autodesk Fusion 360, which is a great modeling program. If you haven't used it, it's a free guess and I highly recommend it. Um, once it's in there, you just take a detailed measurement of the points that you can find on both the physical thing and on your picture. Plug in that dimension and it'll rescale to the right size for you. And then it's just a matter of creating a sketch over the top of it. And then that sketch you can extrude into uh, three dimensions to whatever thickness you need. This program has a bit of a learning curve, but I'd really highly uh, recommend it. If you have any interest in 3D printing or uh, CNC machine work, um, this is probably kind of the, the pr premier program for the, the home user. I'm using Cura as my slicing software. This is what basically sets up what exactly you want the 3D printer to do. And for the 3D printer, this is just a basic little $300-$400 uh, um, monoprice select uh, V2, I believe. This filament is a, uh, a TPU filament. It's flexible, um, has a shore hardness of 95A, and I really, really like it. And hopefully it'll be impervious to fuel. So it ended up fitting just about perfectly. Everything snugged up really nice, and uh, there haven't been any more leaks. At least not from the carburetor. So at this point I was planning out the final shot of triumphantly riding away, but unfortunately it's a 50 year old bike, so I guess there'll be another video on fixing some other part of it. Alright, thanks for watching guys.